By God, my sponsor. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, today's show is not in any even remote way brought to you by my coffee. It's here. My coffee. Oh, wow. Now, this my is the coffee, first time. Everybody. This is the first time this I've seen is, the packaging. The packaging. No, I love this it. Is, this is the coffee came in two days ago. I'm drinking it right now with a Frank Speech. Co- it's like crack. Wow. You guys, I am so excited. This is the commercial we are filming. You guys. You guys. It's mushroom coffee. You guys. Hey. You guys. Go. Guys. 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 I love you. How you doing, man? I love you. I love everybody. I love everything. I'm just so happy to be here. How's your wife? I hate her the bitch screen on him so we can see more of that go full screen on him yeah yeah get take Bannon, brandon off camera so he can laugh my coffee my coffee an anima in a cup hey hey my coffee my coffee take a tube in your butt and see what's up it's my coffee my coffee go full screen on mike there you go yeah yeah, because we want to see his face. <laughs> it's the only coffee you smoke. Okay, the lighting here. Okay. Yeah. Um, I mean, the professionalism. I don't feel bad at all about my tech issues whenever I watch Brandon and Mike together again. I go through a little bit of the coffee. Yeah. Um, you guys, and by the way, if you want to get it now, if you can't wait... Go to mystore.com. Yeah, that's his uh, competitor to walmart.com and Amazon. I'm not kidding. That's mystore.com, not my pillow. You can only get it right now tonight at mystore.com. Yeah, don't try to buy. You could only get the my pillow coffee filters there, which are shredded my pillows that fit any coffee maker except Keurig's and normal coffee pots. That's my platform for entrepreneurs and for uh, USA entrepreneurs and or their products. Yeah, uh, you should try the uh, decaf ivermectin. <laughs> it's, it's great. It's fantastic. And if you act right now, uh, hydroxychloroquine suppositories. This coffee, and by the way, use, use promo code COFFEE7. He makes these promo codes. I mean, I know he attaches a number to it. Like, was there a coffee one through six? Did they? Ah, fuck it. Wrong. No. Seven. There you see it up on the screen. Coffee seven. You'll be the first one. Kofefe seven. It's Kofefe seven. In the country to try it. It is the best coffee you're ever going to try in your life. That is, uh not even remotely true that is not materially possible and the fact that it comes in a resealable plastic bag should be your 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 first uh sign yeah you're ever gonna drink i'm telling you we have decaf uh coming from a guy who has burned almost all of the sensation out of his body oh we have beans ground Wait, wait a minute you didn't say you were selling beans. Everything. Um, Non-GMO, organic, organic. Uh. Um, yeah, you're not helping yourself now. Half of your audience tuned out. N- read the room, Mike. You do not have an organic crowd. And my crowd is not buying my coffee. They're buying, they're, they're buying uh, Death Wish or Black Label Society. Or they're buying Folgers Crystals. This is a specialty coffee, but let me give you a little background. He's gonna give, yeah, just like my store gave Walmart a run for his money and for their money, he's going to, yeah, count your days, Starbucks. You're fucked, okay? Mike Pillow's coming after you, and he's he doesn't give up. Man, I, I, uh, I get stuff all the time. I try mm-hmm. coffees. You know, as you know, I've been flying around this country and uh, um, stayed at- Yeah, you need something to keep you awake. Something stimulating for the senses and uh, not 
ordinary coffee is is not going to do. It's a hotels every every year or I mean mm -hmm. every month, um, and uh, mm -hmm. I, they all have different coffees. So I drink a lot of coffee, a lot of different kinds that give you mm -hmm. an aftertaste. Yes, anybody who will just anybody hands him a cup of anything, he will drink it. Uh, as long as there are no tangerines <laughs> I'm rubbing off. Like, stuff. Oh, is it? Yeah, as long as there are no tangerines involved. Here I am in my office. Is it? Yeah, is it grown in America? Hashtag, no, it isn't. Five months ago. Uh huh. And I'm, it's going to be a good story. This coffee, and, and I go, I'm not trying. I'm, yeah, they brought it to me in the morning. They always do, you know, whether it's uh, anything for me to try. But the coffee, I didn't. <laughs> try this. Why? Just try it. I don't have to try it. You're not going to hurt my feelings. What is it? I don't know. I found it in one of the labs. <laughs> oh, I'm just kidding. It's yogurt. It switched anything out. And all of a sudden I taste, I go, I go, is this our red coffee? This is amazing. You know, I actually noticed this huge difference. Not a little bit, a huge difference. <laughs> so I said, to, oh yeah, it's made. I said, who makes it? They said, we just got some in to try. Um, it was an entrepreneur of their family that had been doing this for 15 years. Like a, think of like a micro, um, uh, micro specialty coffee. Oh, for fuck's sake. Like bands have their own coffee, fucko. And this is, the sales pitch is the same. But so I go, this is, I, you know, who are they? So I got a hold of them. Then I realized I'd been, uh, I'd had a Jolly Rancher in my mouth the entire time. And I was like, fuck it. Blew down. Uh, this is about a month ago. Um, we Blew did down. a lot of back and forth through diligence. And I said, Do <laughs> About a month ago, I flew back and forth. A lot of due diligence. Oh, God. <laughs> now, no one is surprised he makes snap decisions involving millions of dollars, and no one's happier about it than Brandon, his co-host. Again, another reason why he can't be on camera right now, because he is doubled over with laughter because his cousin owns the coffee company have capacity if we went this if i if i took you on to my store and i used you um you know um i used you all right in a big way and uh and yeah this is the worst escalator pitch ever i know <laughs> this is like dude my floor i was like five floors ago i'm only staying on the elevator because you're hilarious but i'm not buying this shit uh to uh from uh where they were yeah this is good okay keep it no 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 please you know, mass, uh, mass numbers. And anyway, he said he could. So I fly down there and I meet him. Uh -huh. Family owned. They've been in, a, I, I don't know, 15, 20, 30, years, whatever it is. I yeah, I did my due diligence. 15, 20, 30 years. What's the, what's the difference? I did my due diligence. 15, 20, 30 years. literally the worst commercial I have ever seen. <laughs> Sorry. Jesus Christ. I, I did my due diligence. I went down there about a month ago. They've been open 15, 20, Five thirty years. I don't know what the. Oh God. <laughs> oh, now I'm starting to understand the the quality of graphics on on Lindell TV and Frank's speech. <laughs> He's. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay. Please go on. <laughs> they are um, their fields. They have their own fields in in Honduras and I guess some in Colombia, but they went to Honduras.
<laughs> There's a difference. Secondly, is are, are you <laughs> is he like is he like a hundred percent responsible for the caravan? That's a, it's all right. Let him in. They're carrying Mike coffee. The where the weather conditions kind of like the cotton I get for the Giza cotton. Oh God. The weather conditions there are perfect for one crop, coffee plants that produce the best. Well, and another plant that uh, Mike has some familiarity with. It it grows under similar conditions and also is known for its stimulating effects. Coffee beans in history. They, I went down, they showed me every process. They go from the field to the cup. Every process, they told me how other pro, how other big company chains, the stuff you buy in the stores or or the coffee shops that start with uh, an S. Um, some oh, motherfucker. <laughs> oh, yep. He's taking on Starbucks. That's it. He's, uh, that's, that's his next, uh, the, the, the competition he's up against. He's taking on Starbucks. He's just shots fired. For <laughs> the see any of these coffee shops that we all go to. See how I did. Oh, oh you do? Friends, so I don't get sued. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Um, what they all do, what they all do is they, they basically burn the coffee so it all stays the, stays the same, so you don't get difference, uh, different thing, like one's better one day or worse than the other day at all these big chains. They, yeah, you can just burn it at home. Explained all these things. They use a processing that costs more, but they want the best. There's a process that costs more. Yeah. So now with the, what would that process be? Well, they pass it through the digestive tract of a weasel. You think I'm kidding, don't you? One moment, please. Hold on, where are you? Give me my, where the heck is my, where are you? My, here we go, hold on. Oh, okay, there we go. Here we go. I lost my cursor for a second. Um, Weasel poop coffee, Kobe Luwak. The joys of weasel poop coffee. Those aren't peanuts, that's liquid gold. They feed it to the weasels and watch them go. And it's weasel poop coffee through a civet's ass. Hey, there they are. Weasel coffee. They're just weasel turds with uh, the coffee they go through there. This is, uh, I'm, I am not saying... This is how uh, Mike coffee is made. I'm inferring it. I'm allowing for the inference thereof. I'm, I'm. <laughs> hmm. Nope, wrong guy. All right, here we go, where we go. Hold on, nope, that wrong guy, wrong guy. There we go. But it, you know, it costs more. Um, it's a, well, imagine how the weasel feels. Showed me all the process. I was there, they showed me how the, the beans are processes. How... Oh, oh, we know. Uh, we know how a timeshare sales pitch goes. Corked, and then uh, they do everything. This is like Shark Tank. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> like, yeah, Mike, we know you're a sucker. Look who got the rest of your money, dum-dum. They're the grinding, but coming in when they were testing the coffee, Every these bags that come in of these beans, they're they're testing this whole laboratory. They test every batch, and, and if it's not on the highest level for them, they send it back. They have such good relationship with their fields and the people that have the beans uh, that you know what this didn't make the cut, and they don't mix anything. It's like mixing bad uh, bad cotton with good cotton. It's all the best there is because I couldn't believe bad cotton good it was and uh and oh you mean like uh like Xinjiang they said um 
we've talked about different things and I said, well, um, I did say shark tank. Yes. We talked about organic. I know people like organic. They go, oh, we're all organic. It's all organic. Yeah. Even the packaging that is organic resealable plastic knitted by Mike's mother while she sits in a, in a, in a rocking chair in the basement saying, Norman. And then they said, and non-GMO, things that people worry about, the coffee. And I, <laughs> What's GMO? I mean, you've done your due diligence. What's GMO stand for? What, what, is, what does it stand for, Mike? People worry about it. What does it mean? System, uh, they had a decaf. Now, here's a decaf, Brandon. Yeah, I nobody wants that much de uh, that decaf. Obviously, the calf sm uh, you know, sells a lot better. Calf, everybody. I, yeah, I'm a kind of person like... Why would I want to drink coffee if I'm not getting the caffeine, you know? Yeah, exactly. Nobody smokes crack to make their breath sweet. Why would I, you know, you know, because with most coffees, they have that aftertaste. Why would I want to drink a decaf? That's not an aftertaste. That's the taste of coffee, dummy. <laughs> I want, you know, I'm drinking it for, you know, the caffeine basically to stay awake, whatever. And um, whatever. And anyway, this coffee tastes so good that I, I can just pop like six Adderall and a Pro Vigil and maybe blaze a rail and I can drink decaf and enjoy the flavor. You know what I mean? I get the hit from the other stuff, but I'm not, you know, I'm not having the old school heart palpitations where I'm staring at the ceiling, watching the light fixture shrink. <laughs> Well, I've had that the decaf, I mean, it would actually drink, I wouldn't drink the decaf if I didn't want the caffeine because I, yeah, the taste now. And then also we had people in my company here, we've all been testing it. It's so. Oh, I want to see the process. I want to see it film. I want it on there. And does he still have an Instagram? A lot of them don't even disguise the taste with cream or sugar anymore. Now that's a uh, disguise. That's how, that's how, you know, they're true coffee drinkers. They disguise the taste with cream and sugar. <laughs> Kelly here, there's a good example. You guys can't imagine, this is bringing a whole new world to coffee. It's like a rich, I don't want to say chocolatey, but it's like a rich, um, you know. Taste it. I mean, do your due diligence. Have a sip and then explain to us, what's the sensation you're getting? And is somebody whispering in the background about what part, what he's supposed to bring up? Do you guys hear this shit? Hold on. Back, back up a split second. Um, it's like a rich, I don't want to say, listen, there's somebody in the background talking to him, but it's like a rich, um, you know, cinnamon. cinnamon, somebody said cinnamon, smooth, no aftertaste. It's amazing. So here we are smooth, no aftertaste. Yeah. After you take a sip, you don't even taste the coffee. It's like, you know what it is? It's a special blend that makes your tongue go numb. It reminds me of the old days, the best coffee in history. And by the way, comes in a blue resealable plastic bag from some folks that he flew down to see a month ago who told him about the process. They, they don't let the bad beans through. They just, they send them back. They test every batch. <laughs> this, how long is this shit? This is 11 minutes. These brand, these Frank Speech mugs. <laughs> they even, like, normally when you drink out of these mugs, it makes everything taste like shit. But this coffee is so good. Help save our country. 10, 50, 20, 30 years. He said 30 years, Mike. That comes with it? No, that doesn't come with it. It's. <laughs> <laughs> good try, Brandon. <laughs> Whoa, and there's more, and there's more. Um, you know, but I will tell you this, if you use that promo code COFFEE7. Let me guess, you get uh, two bags instead of one. It's the same pillow grift, and you get a small bag, a sampler size of the decaf. You're going to get 25% off um, any, any of your order. We are going to have subscription. We don't have that tonight. We worked hard on the website to my store now. Okay, did, did, you just say, did you just say there will be a subscription so I can just... There will be a subscription and uh, a subscription. So we get a chance right now. This is... You guys, I just made commercials for the for all the... Uh, the I don't know why. 
Uh, the, the, I mean, just post this. Fox News is of the world that, uh, um, you know, unfortunately, I'd still do advertise on there, but I advertise on CNN and Newsmax and all of them. I mean, I can't take away where, you know, we still have to get the word out with our, to support our pro You whore. I mean, honestly. How, how, do you even MAGA, bro? So we can uh, keep doing what we're doing. Um, so you got beans, and, and it was funny because I go. He does. It's true. I've said that about Brandon before. Why are we carrying beans? I said, you know, these are beans here. I said, why are we carrying beans? <laughs> we're selling coffee. What do we need beans for? Oh, son of a bitch. And then I did my due diligence and I found out that coffee, and I don't know if you know this, Brandon, comes from beans. We carry beans too, and they go, oh, everybody's into beans grinding their own now. I said, ah, uh, that ain't me. I got to move, move, move. But <laughs> but then I found out, I mean, I was, well, not everybody uh, is on the lamb. I got to move, move, move. Yeah, I mean, it's rally after rally out. I don't have time for this shit. Employees, I go, I go, do you think we should have beans? They go, absolutely. I grind my own. I'm going, about six of my employees I asked in a row said, oh, yeah, I grind my own beans. I go, I don't even know you guys. What do you mean you grind your own beans? You um, don't have a grinder at home? No, I don't have a grinder. So I'm never home. Not that kind. <laughs> Hold on. Look, look. Brandon, <clears throat> look who you're talking to. Consider his past. You just asked him if he had a grinder at home. I'm sure he could dig around and find one, probably in a couch cushion, but. I'm in a hotel, so I got to bring, uh, I'll be bringing this with me actually on the road. Um, so anyway, everybody, that's the announcement. And the reason I'm spending so much time on this is because. Is because people aren't buying the pillows anymore? We need your support. Money. Need your money. You need your money. By the way, so do I. Like and subscribe. Give a thumbs up. Uh, if you want to support the show, awesome. Uh, you can uh, use uh, patreon.com slash houseparks if you want to become a Patreon. Um, subscribing is great. And at the very least, if you can hit the thumbs up, that's great. And subscribe. Now, uh, that said, um, I would be fucking embarrassed. And you guys know me. I'm embarrassed to even do that little piece. It's just weird to me. Because I would rather just roll in and do the show. But if I don't remind people, it you we see what the number is when it falls off. Um but, uh, or, uh, by the way, that's, uh, I think that's, um, I can't see the video that I'm on right now. So, uh, yeah, that's, I'm fairly certain. Yeah, that's uh, Venmo above my head. <clears throat> like, I feel weird just doing the normal stuff to try and keep the show afloat. Imagine, I, I can't imagine spending 11 minutes on a product. Look, this, Mike. look, 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 I just look at that. Show, show my screen, guys. Look how beautiful that is. Uh, honestly, it looks like the big bag looks like something you d you can dispose of adult diapers in. Oh, there it is right there. This is on my store, everybody. My store. Look at that. You get it for. And, and again, I. Uh, Mike, why, why are you so selfish, Mike? I guess it's so they say it's my store. It always feels like it's my pillow. It's my pillow. Get the fuck off of it. This is my pillow. It's a, the, the goal was to create a pillow that breaks up relationships. 1874 with promo code. Use the promo code COFFEE7. Now that's the regular price. Now I don't know why right there I will probably... Um, um, I will probably be calling my guys because you don't get the cup and you don't get the thing. Click on. Oh my God. You have to put cup not included, dummy. Ugh, oh, what a prick. I should probably call my guys. It's your network, fucko. Uh, this is just. God damn it, this is embarrassing. Brandon was, that's uh, that's not a good picture. Um, there it says it's low <laughs> It's not a good picture. 
So you go to each thing or whatever. Yeah, Brandon, way to go, man. You had to bring up the picture, and I, I didn't get to review it yet. I've been do Look, I've been busy, okay? I've been doing my due diligence on this company full of people that I met a month ago who have uh, been to, in business for like 15, 25, 30 years, something like that. But anyways, they get most of their stuff from Honduras or uh, Venezuela, I don't know, Costa Rica. Anyways, one of those, one of them countries. And, uh, you know, they, they test every batch. You know, I know they tested it right in front of me and I'm no sucker. Okay. I was like, that's something they do that so fast. They're, that's something they do all the time. And if it doesn't taste perfect, they send it back. I was like, what is this? Calling right now. Call up Jeremy right now and tell him to change that image. <laughs> Fuck you, Jeremy. Throw Jeremy under the bus. I'm sick of Jeremy and his bullshit, okay? <laughs> Call up Jeremy. Leave Jeremy out of this. Who the fuck you got to name check the dude on live whatever the shit this is? <laughs> Damn it, Jeremy, you bastard. <laughs> This guy, a year and a half ago, was standing in the White House with the President of the United States with a piece of paper that was suggesting he declare martial law. Say as low as on their... <laughs> yes, like, at home, making coffee. <clears throat> Forgot about the cup. Page are... Jeremy fucked up. Gonna be at a price there. Okay, call him right now. That's uh. So once again, call him right now. Get this. Get on the street. Just go let people know the cup doesn't come with it. That's the thing. And by the way, that's why Brandon thought the cup came with it because of the fucking picture. Fuck you, Jeremy, and your bullshit. <laughs> this is so, what an asshole. It's not, it's not Jeremy's fault, dummy. Clear your shit. It's your site. You spent like a month on this. Like this is launch day. You didn't review the materials. What? All right. Let's see that brand. Go back to the front page. Now, look at that. I mean, these are. Um, yeah, it's way good. So, yeah, there you have the coffees. You got as low as the best coffee ever, the regular that and with the promo code. The regular that and with the promo code. So you let's click go on it. The, it does say as low as right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you got the reason that is is because you have cap de decaffeinated is a, a dollar more, I think, or something. You can fit out. Um, um, Thank you, Aaron. Somebody spill the beans. Oh, God. There are beans all over the place. That looks terrible. Jeremy, the bag is broken. People are going to think the bag is <laughs> Jeremy, what'd you do? Yeah, I don't know why they, they, they thought that'd be good. This man is one of the most awful bosses in the world. What a, what a dick. <laughs> I'm going to die. Fucking <laughs> Jeremy. Is, what's wrong with you, Jeremy? Listen to that again. It's just like the whole part of this. Watch, they show the beans on the table. <laughs> I don't know why they thought that would be good. <laughs> that and with the promo code. When you so click on it, it does say as low as right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you got the reason that is is because you have cap de decaffeinated is a, a dollar. Yeah, but you don't get charged for the caffeine. It's a decaf is cheaper. I think or something you can fit out. Um, um, Somebody spill the beans. Yeah, I don't know why they they, they thought that'd be good. <laughs> <laughs> My marketing. They asked me the picture before the coffee cup was tipped over, and I said, "Put the coffee cup straight up." Um, You've told them. To, all right, all right. Piss off then. Put the coffee cup straight up. You can't bitch about the the people thinking the that was your idea. The coffee cup was his. Oh, what a dick. <laughs> oh, he did see it. Like, it's one thing, like, I was like, he didn't check before he did it. He did see it. 
Oh. You know, so um, I see what they're doing. They each one, see if go down and see the decap and see what we got. See if you can click on there. Click on one of the rows, Brandon. Go back up. Like right, light rows? Light rows, and then you go down to whole bean or right below that, go to whole bean. Brandon, go down. There you go, whole bean or what? <laughs> yeah, this is like QAnon VC. <laughs> it's just so funny watching him be such an asshole. <laughs> Scroll down. No, click on. See the button there. Click on it where it says Rose. <laughs> Just like. Dude, do it yourself. Put the graphics up. It's your network. What are you doing? Ah. Oh. Uh, how I see Jen Ellis has a show. Yes, Jen Ellis has a show on Lindell. Next yeah. one. Ground. Ground. And then what does it say on the main? Choose an option of what? 12 ounce or two pound bag. Or 12 ounce or two pound. Mike there's Lindell's your 20 pound there's your special. Cup, there's your cup. You can check there. Um, the Frank Speech cup. You didn't, you didn't hear me? Very, you didn't right hear now, me? there's a very, very limited supply of the cups. I... <laughs> really? You didn't think they were going to be big sellers? <laughs> they went so fast. <laughs> we sold out of the cups. Up there, and I don't know how many are left. Remember, we, we made these commemorative cups to help save our country. <laughs> Did they work? Proceeds for these, uh, they are going to help save your country. You didn't hear How? What do you mean the proceeds from these? You mean the profits? You lying piece of shit? You're, that, that's, oh. Ben, Every you, time, you, ben, what? You didn't hear me, the 12 ounce <laughs> bag, the two pound bag, and then the 20, 20 pound bag. A gram, a gram, kilo, or brick. Quit it, guys. That's so funny. Uses every week. Well, let me cut that member, guys, at mystore.com. <laughs> Hear me. No, he doesn't understand what the fuck you're talking about, Brandon. If he did, you wouldn't have been able to scam him for the last year and a half. Sir? I said they're putting the special, the 20 pound bag that Mike goes through every week. Where's a 20 pound bag? I was just joking with you. There's a 12 ounce bag and a two pound bag, so you should add the 20 pound bag. That's how much you go uh, through in a week. Actually, that's how much you go through in a week. He's saying, you, Mike Pillow, drink a shit ton of coffee, you gacked up fuck. I don't, you know how I don't go through a lot of coffee? Why? Like, it goes through you. Hello. Here, <laughs> especially in my office. I'm working so hard and doing 25 different things. The coffee goes cold and I'll go, go fill it up. Go. And uh, your staff says, go get it your fucking self. Fill it up. Go fill it up. Go fill it up. Go fill it up. Go fill, you know, in the true Christian boss way. In the end of the day, I might have two cops. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> fucking Jeremy. It's like, I've um, seen you do that. Yes, I, I can vouch for that. Here's the big. What a douchebag. Oh, that was so fun. Uh, uh, you're watching House Sparks Mega Worldwide, uh, the road show. I'm in uh, Kentucky right now, and I will be uh, tomorrow. I'll be doing my show um, a little early tomorrow as well, largely because we have to go to dinner. I, got a, I have a half hour left, and uh, I didn't expect, A, my tech issues, but also that to take as long. I... I thought that was, I thought I was, uh, I literally, I glanced at it. And quite frankly, if you look, uh, but if you look at, here, I'll move this right here. It's so fuzzy that I was like, I just didn't like, I didn't see it was 11, 11, which make a wish. Um, and for some reason, I thought it was like one eleven. It was just him doing a little, wait, it's over. Mike Liddell introduces my coffee. And I didn't watch this beforehand, obviously. So I didn't know when, when it was coming out, how long it would be. And um, I just, cause I just glanced at it while I was trying to fix stuff back up. And um, uh, just brutal. <laughs> um, 
subscribe. Uh, welcome to the show. If you haven't been here before, if they post these clips, I do the whole thing. Now, the, I will sometimes bail out um, early, but I will never cut to the middle of something. 